In this video, we are going to investigate the area of a parallelogram. Now here is a diagram of a parallelogram. We are going to investigate and find out its formula. Now in order to find out the area of any plane figure, what we need to do is divide the plane figure into unit squares. Now when we do this with a parallelogram, we find that some of the unit squares are not complete. And because of that, it is not easy to count the unit squares. So what we are going to do is manipulate this figure a little bit so that the incomplete squares become complete and we are able to count them easily. Okay, so let's do this. Now a parallelogram can be divided into a triangle and a trapezoid. What I'm going to do is remove this triangle from here and join it to the trapezoid, trapezoid on, this, on this side. Okay, so let's do that. Here we go. That's my trapezoid and this is the triangle I joined. So what is surprising is that what I get is a rectangle. Now we already know that the area of a rectangle is base times height. By height we mean of course the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides of the rectangle. Now since I have not added anything to the diagram or I have not removed anything from the diagram, it means that the area of this rectangle is equal to the area of the parallelogram I was investigating and which also means that the formula applicable to the area of rectangle is also applicable to the parallelogram and hence we can conclude that the area of parallelogram is base times height. Thank you.